If you want me to lie and give you a good review, no. Here we all are. With nothing but our wit and our will to save the world. The Avengers Age of Ultron is another very sequel-y sequel. You have a film that is way bigger than it should be. As most sequels do, they say, well, let's throw in more characters. One of the things that intrigued Joss about making Avengers 2 was that the Avengers roster is always changing in the comics. You pick up the book one year, and this is who's on the team, and then three months later, there's two new members. Let's throw in more action. In the back? Dick move, Banner. And let's throw in a bigger plot. And how are we going to make it all work within the context of one film? We'll just make it longer. It's a bigger, bigger world. That'll make it work. No, it'll make it convoluted and long, just like the Spider-Man franchise did. With a collection of various plots going on, unlike the first Avengers, Age of Ultron loses focus of its characters which is what made the first Avenger so strong is that you are able to focus on each person and not lose sight of who wants what, who's doing what. And here in Age of Ultron, half the time I was watching the movie and I didn't even know what the hell was going on. I think it's gonna be everything that you want from Marvel films. You got uh, AI that apparently becomes a robot I tried to create a suit of armor around the world, but I created something terrible. Artificial intelligence. And then that AI ends up killing Iron Man or Tony Stark's AI. And then after that, this AI turned into a Superman type of character. And we got this AI that turned into a robot and then they fight each other. And then there's about five scenes of exposition trying to tell me what is even going on in the film? There's only one path to peace. Their extinction. And the whole time I'm just sitting there going, what, what, what the fuck is happening in this plot? I'm glad you asked that because I wanted to take this time to explain my evil plan. <laughs> on top of that, we have a love story in the film between Black Widow and Bruce Banner, AKA, the Incredible Hulk, where we, we don't even understand why she's in love with him. She's a slut. I know right now I'm coming off as pretty arrogant. <laughs> if you're not a big fan of the comic, if you don't know anything about Captain America or Iron Man or Thor, then you might get a bit lost. And that was the problem with Age of Ultron. It was so busy trying to please fans with a lot of self-referential material and things that might have required comic book knowledge, unlike the first film where it was sort of catered towards everyone, that half the time I was just scratching my head and not understanding it. And the whole point of the Avengers is, if you want to make money and you want to make a big franchise, yeah, there's a gazillion fans who are going to get this stuff. But then there's a lot of people like me who go in the theater looking like a complete Neanderthal, not understanding half of the shit that's going on. There still is, you know, a loose chain of command. No one is technically in charge. One thing about the Avengers Age of Ultron that I really enjoyed is that it had a sort of deep underlying theme of trying to face our own fears by going through our own past. Scarlet Witch, she got telekinesis, she can move things, and she can get inside your head so that all your worst fears or doubts come to the fore. And using that in order to evolve as a person ourselves. And of course it had the theme of our own technology goes awry. Our AI becomes so superior that it could end up destroying civilization, a common theme seen throughout you know, of course, the Terminator franchise, and maybe more intelligently through Ex Machina, see that instead. Are you building an AI? However, it loses track of its own theme, its own character motivations, through a countless number of expository dialogue. We weren't even close. Were we close to an interface? Well, you did something right. 
And you did it right here. Leading to preset action scenes that are probably there to sell more Avenger toys. New Lego Marvel superhero sets. The evil Ultron is destroying the world. You can help the heroes from Marvel's Avengers Age of Ultron build the Quinjet. In a nutshell, the Avengers Age of Ultron is a hodgepodge of good ideas and bad ideas. We have good themes, but then you just get a completely convoluted plot with a climax where you don't understand what's going on and you honestly don't care. And I honestly can't recommend it. So go ahead and hate me because I didn't like something that was popular. Go fuck yourself.